now. Okay, so what we've We've installed the EFI device under the dash in such a way that it hangs down to make it easy to test and adjust. We've skinned the black wire and the green wire and the white wire on one side so it makes it easy to attach test clips. Once the EFI is adjusted, we'll just simply wire tie it back up under the dash so there's no more issue. Okay, we've hooked up the EFI device and it's reading 261 millivolts. We're going to adjust it down to zero millivolts. Turning the screw, was it counterclockwise? And that's about as close to zero as it gets. We have on the EFI skinned the black wire which we've hooked up to the green test clip and skinned the green wire which we've at this moment hooked up to the white test clip so that we can measure between what's coming from the oxygen sensor and ground and therefore we hook up the white clip to the voltmeter red and the green clip to the voltmeter black. We have it on the one volt scale, one volt DC scale. And this is a normal oxygen sensor operation. You should see it waving back and forth. If you don't see that, if it doesn't wave back and forth like this, then the computer thinks that something is wrong. Okay, so now we've hooked the green test clip to the green wire and the white test clip to the white wire. And between the green and white wire of the EFI, we are now going to down here where we hook the green wire to the black lead of the voltmeter and the white wire to the red lead of the voltmeter. And this time we have a digital voltmeter set on a, uh, actually in this case it's a one volt scale but it's multi-ranging. And here we have our EFI adjusted to practically zero. So now we're going to adjust the EFI clockwise, the EFI screw clockwise, to raise the voltage. Go ahead. And we're going to raise the voltage back to about 300 millivolts. There's, there's 300, get it to within, there we go, good. Okay, and we can still see that the oxygen sensor is still working properly. It's still getting its waving. So now we're going to raise another 50 millivolts. there about 350 and we're seeing the oxygen sensor starting to not wave as much. It's starting to stay down. That means the computer is leaning the mixture. And if it leans the mixture too much, there we go, getting her back. So that's what you're looking for. You got to keep getting the sweep. And the computer will gradually correct for it. So at this point, we will be staying at 350 millivolts until we see what else happens. And we're done.